What's up guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be going over the car cartographer. I think that's how you pronounce it hopefully. I'm just going to show you how to utilize it, explain how it works a little bit and show you how to find certain things on the map. So if we go into it here, you can see on your left hand side, uh, it sort of looks like a grid of battleships and you have five red squares. So if I click on World Editor, it takes me onto this menu. Now these are all the islands on your current saved game. I'll go through them all here. So this red one here, it unfortunately it doesn't highlight it, but this red one here is where you are currently, I think it's your last saved game. So wherever you last saved the game, um, which for me is like my main island that I've built my base on, that's what this red highlighted square is right here so then we have four others with skulls on them and they are this one is um i mean i don't want to give it away too much but as you can see it says a way out which is how you get off the island i wouldn't say what it is um and then the other three ones the they're all bosses so you've got the megalodon the great oh god it's going to make me pronounce that abia abaya I'm going to go over buyer. So that, I believe, is a an eel, a massive eel, giant eel. And then you have Liska the Great, who I believe is a giant squid. So if you want to find the bosses on the island, or you just want to find some of these other islands, you can see which ones are bigger and which ones are smaller, just come to your cartographer, um, and in the top right corner you can see uh, there is a north symbol. So then you can just work it out from there, like your north, east, south, west. And when you get back onto your island, you can just use your compass. And you, it should make it a lot easier to find these. As you can see, these these two here are on the outside of the... Um, well, this is for me. I'll show you that it's not the same for everybody else. Everyone will be different. Um, so for me, these two are on the border's edge. Actually, these three are all on the border's edge. So it would be quite easy for me to just follow the border... Um, I'd say, what's that? North east, southwest. Northwest, and just head to these two up here. And then I could just follow the border down, and it would bring me to that one there. So hopefully that's not too confusing. Fairly simple. Uh, it looks confusing if you don't know what it is. But yeah, that's how it works. If you ever want to, say, find a boss, or just find a bigger island, or even want to know where you are on the map, just come to the cartographer and... It's as simple as that. So I'll show you that it's not the same for everybody else. So just because these uh, bosses are in this position on my, on this saved game, doesn't mean they will be in the same position for you. So I actually have another saved game, which I will go to now. So this is my first save slot. So if I go into the cartographer now, and you can see that they have actually changed position. So I need to click on that. So this time, I mean, my, my main island's roughly, I think my main island's there, maybe? Or maybe it's in the same place. It's one of these two on the other save slot. And then you've got the Lisk of the Great, which is actually very close to me. So for that, I would need to head in roughly the east direction, northeast, about northeast, because east would be this corner south, west, etc. So to find Lisk of the Great, I'd need to head northeast. Um, I've actually found a way out on my one, so I know where that is. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's like that, really. Just come to here. Like I say, you know, I can look that. Right, so that's north. Lisk of the Great is northeast. And then I just go to my island, get my compass out, head in a northeast direction. And, I mean, they are hard to spot because, obviously, they're all sea-dwelling creatures, so they're all under the sea. But you're looking for... It's like a... Oh, I don't know what it's called. Like a floating... A floating lighthouse? I mean, that's not much help. I don't know what they're called. Sorry about that. Um, but it's, it'll have a light on it. It's a, bo a beacon. It's like a floating beacon. That's probably a lot clearer than a floating lighthouse. 
Um, so yeah, look for a floating beacon, and under that will be one of these bosses. Either the Megalodon, the Giant Eel, or the Giant Squid. Uh, you can also edit, make new islands, edit uh, the world, edit the islands that you're already on, so you, you can like replenish um, lots of things, you know, like uh, the, like the trees, etc. Um, yeah, you can do lots of stuff. I'm not going to go into that for now. I was mainly concentrating on navigating the island that you're already on. Uh, so it is actually quite simple um, when it is explained, but when it's not explained and you just see a game of noughts and crosses, it probably makes an absolutely no sense to you whatsoever. If you have any questions um, on anything I haven't mentioned, how it works, then please let me know. I think I've gone over it in enough detail to sort of give you guys um, enough help in how it works. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you in the comments below. Apart from that, if you like the video, please hit that like button. And to see more of my Stranded Deep videos, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. Enjoy the game, guys, and I will see you soon. We're in control.